music has always been a huge part of my purpose. But it's definitely changed a lot. Growing up, like when I was a kid, I used to think like, oh, okay, I need to be the best singer or the best songwriter or like the, then eventually like the best producer who ever lived. And at some point, I just realized that that's like a useless goal. And at first it was like kind of heartbreaking to realize like you will probably never be the best at something. But then it was really, really freeing because I just stopped giving a shit about making music for other people and it was more about like, I just want to make things that make me happy. And then that sort of bled into the rest of my life where it was like, okay, I've been trying to live in a way that pleases other people. And I never really stopped to like ask myself if that was the right thing. And there's a lot of privilege in that to be able to sort of um, not give a shit. And um, to be able to say like, joy is the answer because I don't know, I, I, I don't want to like pat myself on the back for that answer because it's not, it's not brave. It's just what I want to do. But if I wrote you a letter, sent it across the ocean. If I told you I love you with the paper. I feel that I became like fragmented in the past couple of years and my purpose now um, sort of with music being the guiding light would be to take all these little pieces and um, bring them back together in new ways. I think that purpose is feeling the emptiness and the bitterness just with as much tenderness as you would the joy and the love. And I'm on my own again. But if I wrote you a letter, sent it across the ocean. If I told you I love you with a paper and a pen, would it feel more real than this neon blue message? When my phone dies and I'm on.